in addition to all that I've mentioned, Justin Stauber and Mia Yehuda, first of all, Justin Stauber is guilty of pedophilia. Mia Yehuda, you are guilty by association. He has been hiding in disguise. First of all, I don't know how many baby mama he has. But isn't it interesting that he doesn't have an emotional connection with none of his children? However, you always find him around someone else's children. Isn't that a bit suspicious? Bonding with someone else's children. They pay. These women... Let me tell you how you had how they get you all. They first of all they get you all with the with the Bible. You cannot be autonomous. Period. <laughs> Long story short, you, you cannot be autonomous. It's what the Bible condemns. Period. Your autonomy. So how they get you? First of all, half you women are lazy as fuck. So of course you're gonna. It's it's gonna be easy. You know, it's like you want the easy lifestyle. So you you prefer a man to take care of you. And that's where you all are all fucked up. Because you're too lazy to go out and get your own. You depend on another man. You think that that is the natural cycle of life. You were conditioned to believe that. It isn't your fault. You were just conditioned to believe that. Now, the trap was, when you marry a man, you are giving your life over to him. You are saying that, I am going to give my life to you. So long as you take care of me, I will be a slave to you. Period. <laughs> Period. There's no love there. There's no love there. You can't be autonomous. You cannot speak your mind. You cannot... It's like everything that you want, you desire to do, you cannot do. They tell you what to do. And then you are, you, 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 you cannot go up against them because the Bible says you, you know, what I'm, you, you feel what I'm saying? That type of fuck shit. All right. Um, so you are part of these, um, you marry into this. It's like you're, you're giving your freedom over to a man. He pay you to shut up for the rest of your life. Shut up. Stay home. Clean up. Take care of the children. You don't even have to work. And women like, that's the life. Uh, what? How? The divine spirit of life placed you on this planet. She gave you a life purpose to fulfill. Your life purpose cannot be fulfilled if you are enslaved within a marriage that condemns you to be autonomous. You see, your life purpose consists of you stepping into your own autonomy. So you are married to a man that condemns you of doing so. Women are to be quiet. What the fuck is that shit? Let a man tell me that shit and watch that I don't punch you in the motherfucking eye. Who the fuck you think you're talking to? Who the fuck you think you're talking to? You see, because where I come from, women were respected. Women, autonomy was respected. It was valued. Where I come from, the era of where I come from, Men admired women, power, autonomy, and autonomy. That's the era where I come from. So to be in this society and to be trying, it's like they're trying to box you in. You got to be like this. You got to be like that. Look, it didn't end well for absolutely anyone. All past relationships ended because of that shit. I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to say what the fuck I want. And I'm going to do what the fuck I want. It's not, I don't want to. It's not, it's not even so much about 
I, I'm going to do what it's like. I follow my intuition. And because I follow my intuition, I don't need no interruptions. My intuition know what's right. She know what my higher self know what's right for me to do on my journey. So the Bible contradicted with that. The Bible contradicted. And so did those relationships that constantly tried to box me in to be this way, be this way. And it's like, ah, no, it's a no. It's a no. I'm a leader. I have a voice. I have a strong voice. So they couldn't keep me down. They couldn't keep me boxed in for too long. Yeah, they had another thing coming. It backfired on every... It backfired in all their faces. Especially the narcissist. Because my nature... Like, my nature is pure. That's the, the light side of my nature. The dark side of my nature is a narcissist. The narcissist. Not a narcissist, baby. I'm the fucking narcissist. So you... They have definitely met their match. Each and every last one of them met their motherfucking match. Back to Justin Stauber, Prince ICL, and their bloodline. They are all bisexual. They are all pedophiles. They are all, if the women are not fucking with the, oh, Mia, Mia Yehuda already, um, oh, she already exposed herself. That young boy that she was fucking with from Atlanta. That innocent child that she was fucking with from Atlanta. She was using magic to keep him. She was actually technically using him for his money. She, he was being used for his money. But she was using the dark arts to keep him in her grasp. To keep him in love. It's so pathetic when you have to use black magic. Just so that someone can love you. Do you know? Do you see how pathetic that is? So anyway. A lot of them are pedophiles. And if the women. You know. They're, they are, they're also pedophiles too. Some of the women. Yes. Uh, um, they are also pedophiles. And if they aren't. They are guilty by association. Because they know what the fuck is going on. And they've done nothing about it. They are a part of the problem. Prince Asiel Israel, yeah, you's a fucking pedophile. He molested me, Yehuda, too. Yo, dumbass. Do you remember? Do you remember? When we fell in love. <laughs> I'm an ass for that shit. But nah, I'm gonna go ahead and roll with this shit. Because, bitch, you had me fucked up. Now. Do you remember? Good Oh, I'm sorry. My roommate's in here sleeping. I may see him acting a fool. Anywho. Yeah, I woke up in a good mood today, damn it. Yeah. Your girl going hard, baby. I'm going hard today. I'm going hard. I already told y'all. I'm on you. So, um. Okay, this was kind of all over the place, right? So, to bring everything around full circle before ending, they are pedophiles in addition to all that I mentioned. Oh, I was talking about you, Mia Yehuda. The same thing that was done to me where I didn't remember, <laughs> where I didn't remember, and you was laughing at what happened. You all laughed at my trauma. Bitch, the same thing happened to you. Your own father. You see, my situation, my father did not molest me. He did not molest me. No. You see, my step-parents did. And I was, I made, I was sold out and throughout the years of life community. But my biological father, my father did not put his hands on me. But yours did. <laughs> uh, surprise. <laughs>